All right, I'm gonna show you how the Roman Catholic Mass contradicts scripture. Because the Roman Catholic Mass, what it teaches is that basically Christ is being continually sacrificed every single week and that it's, it's just a continual sacrifice and, and they reject the biblical doctrine that the sacrifice is done, it's finished, it's a one-time event. And not only that, Catholics believe they actually have to eat the physical flesh and blood of Jesus Christ. Basically, it's cannibalism. And I'm gonna show you how that contradicts commands in the Bible. So. Leviticus chapter 17, verse 10 to 12. And who, uh, whatsoever man there be of in the house of the house of Israel, or of the strangers that sojourn among you, that eateth any manner of blood, I will even set my face against that soul that eateth blood, and will cut him off from among his people. For the life of the flesh is in the blood, and I give it, it sorry, and I have, I'm not good, I'm not good at reading on a computer, and I have given it to you upon the altar to make an atonement for your souls, for this is the blood that maketh an atonement for the soul. Therefore I said unto you, or unto the children of Israel, sorry, no soul of you shall eat blood, neither shall any stranger that sojourneth among you eat blood. Hmm. Uh, how does that work if you're supposedly having to eat the flesh and blood of Jesus Christ every single Sunday at Mass? Because God clearly said here, you're not supposed to eat flesh or drink blood. Hmm. Kind of a problem there if you're a Roman Catholic, and, and they're going to try to wriggle the way, wriggle the way around it somehow and say, uh, oh, you know, there's exceptions, and, and they'll go to they'll go to John chapter six, which and they'll totally twist what John six is even saying, because they'll say that Jesus said to eat the flesh and blood. Um, read the context of the passage. They won't read the next couple. They'll, they'll take one verse where Jesus is saying you have to eat my flesh and blood, but then they won't read the next couple of verses, and show that Jesus is comparing it, and it's clearly symbolically. And I don't have time to go through that in this video, but. All you gotta do is just read the next couple of verses and you'll see that the Catholics are completely taking us out of context and just, and totally twisting what Jesus was saying. And uh, next passage that this mass contradicts is John 19.30. And the Catholics still say, oh, it doesn't contradict John 19.30. You know, have these big, huge things of trying to explain away John 19.30 because they can't handle the text. They, it clearly says, I'll read it for you. John 19.30, when Jesus therefore had received the vinegar, he said, it is finished, and he, and he bowed his head and gave up the ghost. This is when he dies on the cross. He just said, it is finished. How does that work if you're supposed to re-sacrifice him every single Sunday at Mass, and it's a continual sacrifice just over and over? It's finished. It is a one-time event. If you, you, know, you can read Hebrews chapter 9, Hebrews chapter 10. It makes it clear it is a one-time event. It is not a continual, just every single Sunday we're going to re-sacrifice him. That, that's a pagan teaching. That is, that is wicked. It is undermining the sacrifice of Christ on the cross. So, just another example of just Roman Catholic, just pagan tradition contradicting the Bible. Because Roman Catholicism, all it is is just pagan Roman religion repackaged. So, a lot of what they do, they just borrowed from the pagan Romans. Because the pagan Romans were all, you know, all kinds of weird stuff. They're into like bestiality and, and pedophilia, and the Greeks were into that too. It's it just, so it makes sense that Roman Catholicism being a continuation of. <clears throat> of pagan Roman religion, they'll, they'll take a lot of that stuff. Why do, why do you think the Catholic priesthood has so much pedophilia in it? Because the Gre the pagan Greeks and the pagan Romans were pedophiles. I mean, pedophilia was literally like the norm in pagan Roman, pagan Greece. So it makes sense for Roman Catholicism being a continuation of those religions to be also be rampant with pedophilia. So don't be deceived by Roman Catholicism. God bless you. Goodbye.